Hey world, it's been a long time. What's going on? No makeup Tuesday. Annie, are you okay? Hey, Annie. Hey, Annie. Them freckles popping. My freckles be popping. I don't like you. Mm. What's up, toy? What's going on? I'm messing with these filters. Oh, that'll mess up your... Ooh. What's going on, people? I miss you all. I miss your quiche. What it is and what's up. Hey, Miss Drew. I'm glad to see you. Hope all is well have been. Please pray. Please. Those who truly love me, pray for me. I need it. I receive it. I want to call you and check in on you. You can do that. I'm 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 at a I'm okay today. So if you want to talk to me, today's the day to do it. Now yesterday. Mm -mm. Y'all like this filter? I feel like I'm in an old movie or something. Hey D. Thank you. I receive it. Love from Houston. Thank you. I need all the love that I can get. That's why I came on here. I miss y'all. Um, y'all know I've been on IG though. Uh, IG pays me more than uh, YouTube does. Yes, they do. One day at a time. That's all I can do one day at a time, y'all. It's <sighs> Nobody can prepare you for it. Nobody can pre can prepare you for, I don't want to see this no more. Can I go away? Thank you. Hey, Annie. Hey, Toy. Hey, Keish. Hey, D. Yeah, nobody can prepare you for anything like this. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, I do miss y'all. I miss y'all. I really do. It, it's a lot of work making, you know, putting vlogs together and everything like that. But I gotta say, um, I enjoy doing it. Uh, I do want to get better at it. Um, but right now, my mind ain't right. Not at all. But I wanted to come on here and and, and talk to my people that... You know, I know people busy right now, but uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been tough, y'all. Really have. Tell them, toy. Hit that like button. Hit that love button. It's been really tough for me. When I think I'm okay, I'm not okay. I don't know how many in here have lost your mom. I'm just specifically your mom and the, the the type of family that I come from we are very we we are very close knit a very close knit family um I grew up with all my cousins around me almost every day um family was always at our house it was always something going on for positive good things um yeah annie i know and I, i'm sorry for your loss also it is it's so horrible y'all there there are no words that i can my mind i feel like my mind i don't know if y'all can understand what i'm saying but i i don't feel like my mind is right i don't feel like my thoughts are uh, everything is like rambled in my brain really it's still really unreal to me that she is gone 
and it's tough every day. And I might cry, but I love y'all, and that's okay. Hey, Cece. Um, hey, Tashiri. I catch you on IG a lot, girl. IG pays me more than YouTube does, so that's why y'all see me posting a lot of reels. But um, my mama, my mama was the bomb, y'all. Good morning, Miss True. I feel you dealing with the loss of my sister. Oh my God! Oh my God! My br I thought I thought my brother took me out. I thought my brother took me out of the game when he died, but to lose your mama. My mama died on November 10th. We had her her funeral was December 2nd. We 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 got a 12 passenger van, put our whole family in it and we were out. <laughs> um it was good to see people that I grew up with. It was great to see people I grew up with. Uh, let me finish reading y'all. Car accident. It's been a month, but it feel like yesterday. I'm numb. I'm numb. I know what you mean. I am so numb. Um, thank you, CC. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Like I told you, take a minute. I'm trying. Um, but y'all know the type of woman that I am. Y'all know I like my house clean. Y'all know I like to cook. Y'all know I like to be superwoman. Um, and it's just really, I feel guilty for the days that I can't get out the bed and be that woman that I know I am. Thank you, Melissa. I actually wrote, uh, y'all, I, I, I feel like I have to get it out, um, out of me. So I wrote a poem for my mama, but I'm going to put it on my IG channel when it's finished. Um, thank you, Tysheri. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I need it. <laughs> um, I try to stay strong. Like the day that I found out that she passed, you know, I felt a lot of guilt around here because I couldn't be there for my kids like I wanted to. Because I was so fucked up. I'm so fucked up. I feel like. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but I guess I needed this, you know. Something just told me to go live. Y'all, my mama and daddy was married for 52 years. All their kids was grown and gone. <laughs> Let me get some tissue, y'all. I'm gonna kiss his ass to come in the house. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, thank you, Keish. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I don't, I just, it's just a lot of mixed emotions going on. Like, my mama and daddy was married for 52 years, and now my daddy is by himself. Like, that is so unreal to me. Me and my daddy both are Gemini, so we trigger each other. Like, when I call him, he's okay, but then I make him cry, and he makes me cry. Hey, Nirvana. I've been catching your lives. I just can't. I just haven't been commenting on a lot of stuff lately. But I see you. Keep doing what you're doing. Finally. <laughs> y'all, if y'all haven't checked out Nirvana channel, check her out. Um, Ty Cherie. Anybody got a channel, go ahead and put your hands up and let them know what's going on. But yeah, I haven't. My mom and daddy was married for 52 years. And now my daddy is alone um i wanted him to come back with us to texas you know but you gotta you gotta let people grieve in their way and thank you you gotta let people grieve in their way and when they ready when he's ready he could come and i promise y'all i'm gonna spoil the shit out of him when he get here um and that really made me think about my husband and i like Oh my God, that broke my heart. Like, we've been together 25 years. And one day, it could be just, it could be just me. It could be just him. And it hurts my feelings that he'll be alone. Or, and it really tears me up that I could possibly be alone. You know? Mm, Y'all, it, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. I'm telling you. Um... Some days I wake up and I feel like, okay, it's going to be a good day. I start moving around and I'll see something. Um, this is my mama's obituary. My mama was beautiful, y'all. She was, she was so dope. When I started having kids, she stopped, she stopped working, um, full time. She would only work weekends, like, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so that I could work through the week, full time, overtime, whatever. I mean, I worked twelve hour days uh, to take care of my kids, and my mama kept them so that I could do that. She changed her own work hours because she didn't want them in daycare. I forget sometimes that she gone, and I'd be like, I gotta call my mama, and be like, oh, I can't. I'm trying not to ugly cry, y'all. Yeah, you do, Nirvana. You do. You know, it's a lot of people out here that will, uh, that are not willing to work for relationships no more. They, you know, they'll have an argument and be like, fuck, fuck whoever, and then they out. My mama, and daddy, my mama and daddy were together 52 years. They made it look easy, but you know they had to put in the work to keep it together. Shit, I know it. <laughs> Anybody that's married know it takes work. Mommy does it better with Courtney. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I appreciate y'all coming over, checking on me. I really do want to get back into my vlogs, even if I just get my same 200 some people that watch me. It's all good. I love it. I love it. I really wanted to do Vlogmas, y'all, but I could not pick up the camera. I couldn't. Um, I just couldn't. It is so hard. Like, every day is different. Some days I'm angry. Some days I'm just hurt. Today I'm just hurt. Every now and again I could talk about her and, you know, laugh about it. But, man. And it's hard. I feel like it's harder on me because I'm here. And my sister and brother and them have, you know, they could see them. Please. I need peace. Yes. 
and I don't have it. I'm used to being in control. And I'm not right now. I am not right now. You are. Mm -hmm. She's the reason why you are such a girl. Nirvana, yes. For real, all day long. I'm sorry if I missed anybody comments, y'all. Yeah, it's it's hard out here. <laughs> but I can remember when people used to say, cherish your mother. She's not going to always be here. She may not be here tomorrow. But no matter how many times somebody tell you that, you will never fucking know until it happens to you. So, for all these silly assholes out here mistreating their mama, and if you've been keeping your ears to the street, you know who it is. Go kill yourself. <laughs> Go kill yourself. Your mama brought you here. I have never disrespected my mama. Never. Never. I have never... I, to this day, I'm 46 years old. I may have cussed in front of her just to get a rise out of her, but I know better. <laughs> it was a game, believe me. Thank you, Sue. Thank you very much. I'm a, I'm going to be all right, but I'm not all right right now. I am not okay. I try to be. I try to get up every day and run my house most days. Some days is impossible. It really is. Toy, good. And keep that going. Because, like, my mama, like, nobody, I did not expect to get that call on November 10th. Did not. Mm -mm. I was actually finna plan a trip because my mama's birthday is February 18th. And, you know, every now and then I'll pop up and surprise her. And that's what I was going to do. But no. But it was so amazing. It was, it was so amazing. Everybody who showed up to show love. My mama was the house on the block that if you didn't have nowhere to go, my mama was going to let you stay there. If you didn't have nothing to eat, she was going to feed you. You know what I'm saying? And everybody who she did that for pretty much showed up at her funeral. Like, the whole spot was the old block. Like, everybody from the old block, if you haven't seen, um, I did post the videos to YouTube. Uh, I'm sorry, post the videos to IG um, of her ceremony and the little speech that my sister, I, and my brother got up there and did, um... I'm glad she's not suffering anymore because my mama suffered. She had uh, fibromyalgia, which I have. Arthritis severely throughout her body where it was really difficult for her to walk on certain days. But y'all, these last three months, my mama, my mama started like living life again. My brother died <clears throat> in 2010. He was murdered. And that changed the whole dynamics of our family my mom and daddy kind of shut off and you know really never left the house or anything like that only for necessities or appointments um they kind of had shut off and my mama really had shut down but the last three months y'all she had kicked it in lost 65 pounds she was going to therapy she was really starting to live her life again so i the, the last thing i can remember saying to my mama is i'm so proud of you i'm proud of you for trying to survive trying to live your life again trying to prolong your life
Thanks, Nirvana, because I'm not okay. You're never ready for that call. Never ready for that call. I think I terrified the shit out of my kids. I screamed so much. Like, I, like, I couldn't. I still can't, like, really. I feel like I'm not myself. been praying for you and the family and I will continue to do that I can't imagine how you feel <sighs> I'm doing a lot of that leaning on him A whole lot of it. But I just wanted to come on here because I missed y'all. I love y'all. Um, I do be I, I do post things on IG because like I said, IG pays me more than YouTube does. <laughs> so you can check me out on IG, Miss True Redbone. I will be trying to get back on here and post y'all. I really haven't I really can't my thoughts are so unclear y'all like it's it's a fight for me every day <sighs> to get up out the bed Courtney over there losing that weight too, y'all. If you didn't know. Courtney, how much weight have you lost? Um, I was down. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, my word. I was happy about my little 45 pounds, but Courtney has lost 115 pounds. You go, girl. Even if it's random pop-up like this, just to get out. We have... And and, and, and you know what? I've been, I've been fighting it because, like I said, my thoughts are so unclear. My words don't flow the way that I want them to. My words, I, <laughs> Yvonne, it's, it, it's different every day. Um, like I was just saying, I, I battle to get out the bed, but I do it because I know I have to. I can't afford to give up on, on, on me. But it's hard. It's so hard to just... It's just hard for me to focus. Really, it is. Hey, Kayla. Thank you. Thank you very much. I need it. Um, I can say the night before, girl, you got it. Girl, share your secret. I need to lose 55 pounds. I was taking those injections. I took those uh, Ozempic injections. And I'm telling you, I was, I, I, I'm, da I'm down. I took myself back down to the lowest dose and I'm just staying there. So I'm at a good weight. I had got down to 160, but they, these people in this house said I was, too skinny. I looked too skinny. I was looking too... They said I was looking sick. They said I lost my ass. <laughs> Y'all, they said I lost my Botox. So, your girl gained a little back and now I'm at 175. And that's my end-all, be-all 175. Hey, Nikki. Hey, my Nikki. Um... But yeah, the the roller color of the roller coaster of emotions, y'all, are, are so fucking exhausting. Excuse my French. Um, 
I don't know if I told y'all though. So my mama died on November 10th. Maybe a week or two later, before we buried her, I had a dream. And in the dream, we were at our family house um, that we all, that we grew up in, the spot where everybody came, all the family would hang. And my mama, I think this was like the happiest time of her life. And she took me back to that time in this dream. She was sitting in her kitchen. My mama always entertained company in the kitchen because she would always be multitasking. She would be cooking. She would be cleaning. She would be watching grandkids. She would, well, I didn't have kids in this dream, but she always had somebody kids at the house. And um, my aunties would come over, a few a few women off the block would come over, and they would be sitting in the kitchen at the table, you know, drinking Hennessy, Crown Royal, talking shit, you know, grown women, have, having conversations and catching up on each other. And she took me back to that time in the dream, and in the dream, I came down, I had to be like 20, so this was before I had kids, and I, I kept on saying... Thank you, Toy. I kept on saying, Mama, in the dream, y'all, this is after she had passed. I kept on saying, Mama, where is my cell phone? I can't find my cell phone. I said it like three times. Where is my cell phone? And then she said, are you coming Friday? And she said it again, are you coming Friday? And my son woke me up right then and there. And I said to my husband, I said, my mama kept on asking me, am I coming Friday? Are you coming Friday? And he was like, well, did you see what day the funeral was on? The the, the day, I knew the date, but y'all, I didn't know what day it fell on. Because I'm telling you, my mind is not right. So he looked on the phone and he said, Quita, yo, Friday is December 2nd. That was the day of my mama's funeral. Your mama was just making sure that you was going to be there. She came to me and she made me feel. She comforted me through that dream, y'all. Are you coming Friday? Which was the day of her funeral. Can't make that shit up. Nope. So if you have your mama and your daddy, of course, if you have your mama, love on your mama. If you not, if you don't live where she live, call her every day. And just say, I call to say, I love you. And as a mother, I make sure that I love on them even harder. I tell them all the time. They can come in the kitchen, getting something out the refrigerator, and I would just randomly say, I love you. I'm not going to be here forever. I'm trying not to ugly cry. <laughs> I was trying to go live on IG, y'all. Because I wanted somebody to come on here and talk to me. <sighs> yes, it does. A mother's love goes beyond the grave. I'm finna smoke now, Kayla. I'm finna smoke some weed right now when I get off of here. Because <laughs> I have it today. And that might be part of the problem, too. I have not medicated, y'all.
I receive it though. Even though you can't touch me, Nikki. I love you too. I haven't, y'all. Can y'all believe I have not been doing my makeup? <laughs> y'all know I love it. I went and got it. I think I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to do my nails. Because I ordered all that stuff off of, I, uh, y'all know I'm an Amazon addict. So I think I'm going to do my nails and I'm going to do my, my makeup. Um, I haven't been leaving the, the house much. I just, thank you, Danietta. I, I need it. I receive it. Thank you very much. Um, and I appreciate y'all for coming on here and showing me love. I do. I don't take it for granted. What up, Pine? I'm trying not to ugly cry, y'all. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Y'all talk to each other. <laughs> I gotta let my dogs in. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on, Nipshi. Come on, Nipshi. Y'all, I got a new dog, and I'm trying to break her ass. She She's an older dog. I'm trying to get her broken. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all for the hearts if they for me. <laughs> yes, y'all. I got to smoke some weed. I got to. And I'm going to. If y'all didn't know I do, I do. It keeps me sane. It keeps me from hurting people. Thank you, Kayla. Look, I can't, I can't pee by myself. Move, 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 move. Y'all. But the, the, my dogs are my distraction, for real. Hey, Cheryl. My dogs are my distraction. Come here, Diddy. Say hi, that's my big boy. That's my big boy. Yeah, he gonna make me smile. Y'all know who y'all know who helped me through this a lot though? It's my granddaughter. India. Cause at the same time that my mama passed, my daughter had a son. She had a baby. So I had to keep the I had to keep India while she was there and she really lifted my spirits. It was like a it was a wonderful distraction. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Y'all see how big Diddy then got? Come here, Diddy. Come here, baby. Y'all see how big Diddy then got? These my babies. Y'all know these my babies. Look how big. Look how big he just got. He just got so big. Yeah, she did. Yeah, y'all, India, India, 
That's my boo boo. That girl brought me through. She brought me through. She was a great distraction. She's so freaking intelligent. Like, me and her, we kick her. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, okay, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Y'all know Nipsey is like 80 pounds, y'all. Nipsey is like 80 pounds. So, I, um, we took in a girl dog, because y'all know my girl dog died. He did get big keys. He is, look at him. She do. She really do. Eight and two. I'm going to have eight in for two weeks, y'all. They get out of, he get out of school tomorrow. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. So, I got to say, my grand, my grandkids and my kids have helped me tremendously merry christmas everybody it it, it 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 i'm trying to be in the christmas spirit but i am not it's not it don't feel like christmas to me although i got four christmas trees up in the house y'all want to see the trees it's kind of messy right now y'all want to see the christmas trees you stop feeling with me Hit the love button. Merry Christmas, y'all. We here another day. I'll let y'all see that. It ain't nothing amazing, but I'll show y'all. Because, I, like I said, my, my, I wasn't in the Christmas spirit, really. Look, look, look. He's so fat now, y'all. Do y'all remember when Diddy was a baby? Look at him. <laughs> God, get off of me. Go next. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all. Come on, let's go. Let's let's take a walk. Okay, get down. It's enough. Y'all so damn heavy. Damn. God damn, y'all. Look, I had to put her name is Sheba, y'all, and I gotta get her weight up. Like her previous owners didn't have enough um enough time for her, but they wanted her to be loved. Um, so I got her yesterday. I bathed her like four times. Um, she's in the kennel right now because she's kind of aggressive towards Nipsey and Diddy. It, I think it's a female thing. She's almost two years old, y'all. She know I'm talking about her. Ain't that right, Sheba? And she's on the smaller side to me. Diddy is seven months. Get down, Diddy. Get down. Thank you. Diddy is seven months and I, he weighs more than she does, y'all. Hold on, let me show y'all. How you turn this shit around? Oh, okay. That's Sheba. Let me change the filter for y'all. Say hi, Sheba. She a little depressed right now because she keep, y'all, she keep trying to, she's aggressive. She's a little food aggressive and she keeps trying to snap at Diddy. And Nipsey. So, she had to... I got a teacher. It's not acceptable. Okay, y'all. So, so far... Got a little tree in here. Yeah, uh, Sheba being bad. Sheba is being bad, y'all. Get down, Nip. Get down. Okay, it's over. The party's over. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Get down. Okay, so that's my little tree for this living room, y'all. It's not plugged up right now. My electric bill is already high. A little something on the fireplace, you know. And then we have the kitchen, which is really not spectacular right now. But we're going to go on a field trip. Me too. I love that color. I don't know where, where I, I think I saw it on Pinterest and put it together. But that's one of my favorite colors too. Red and teal turquoise. Um, so baby true. <coughs> Y'all hear her barking? That how she you 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 ain't gonna be able to do that up in this house, sister girl. We're gonna work you out. Um, so uh baby true did that tree, y'all. So that's the that's tree number two. I usually put lights up in here, but I wasn't feeling it this year, you know. But y'all know I love red. If you didn't know now, you know. That's tree three. <laughs> My husband was like, how many trees do we need? Uh, Christmas is normally one of my favorite uh, 
holidays. But mm, y'all know. This is a lived in house, y'all. So it, it might not be as clean as it could be, but we working on it. Um, and that's the final tree. And baby true comes in here and fucks up my living room and leaves. That's the only child I know that will go in every living room and mess it up and go go somewhere else. But look at my trees, y'all. My 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 plants they are really thriving. Right, Cheryl? You 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 can't get mad at me for loving Christmas trees. That's my that's my little y'all. I don't know if y'all saw, but this these right here I started growing for my mama like three years ago, um, because my mama was a plant lady, and she told me to do ivy. So I have mostly ivies because they're easy to grow. You know, you could grow ivies in water. Just put a put a, a, a put a stem in some water, and it will grow. No, no dirt or anything. So that's what I started off with. Um, and then I got other types of plants and yeah, but she never got a chance to come see them, y'all. She was always too sick to, to, to make it. Um, but, but, um, I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna kick baby true ass for messing up my living rooms and then cutting out, ditching. You know, I, I'm, o I'm a little bit of OCD, y'all. But we still have lights to put on the tree, even though it's the 20th, you know. We still gonna put them on there. And because the grandkids will be here sh this week, so we do it for them. That was a good distraction, y'all. Thank y'all. It really was. The plants will help you. I still talk to my plants, and I was taught that as a child yes quiche i do talk to my plants is that a tree hell no <laughs> hell no that bitch get put in the box and pulled back pulled back out it usually had more stuff on it but like i said i i haven't decorated anything well I decorated the kitchen, started decorating the kitchen, and then I was hit. I started decorating on November 1st, y'all. I really did. I was gung-ho. I was ready. And then life, life knocked the bitch out. Life was like, <laughs> you lifing. I'm going to be lifing on your ass. That's what life said to me. And my husband has been so sweet, uh, so understanding, y'all. Uh, I, I got to say, he has really been my backbone through this whole situation. Without him, I probably would have crumbled a long time ago, honestly. Lauren died, Joanne. Lauren was, so, Lauren went into labor. We had a C-section schedule, but she went into labor prior to her, um, Prior to her her appointment, like in the middle of the night, she went into labor. And she was pushing the puppies out. Um, the guy who did her ultrasound said anywhere from two to three puppies or something like that. Dun Dun had like ten puppies. None survived. She was sick. She got... Um, she was sick. She got sick somehow during delivery. Cause when I took her to, I took her to the vet to deliver. Cause she had one puppy that would not, she couldn't push out. She couldn't push this puppy out. I want to say it was her sixth puppy, and I'm a, I was thinking it was her last puppy. No, they said she still had four puppies inside. Um, after that sixth puppy that was stuck, so they were gonna do. They gave her pitocin. To try to make her contractions longer. It's just like us. Um, they they gave her Pitocin. Pitocin didn't work. Um, and they didn't even, they didn't even, they said, okay, we're going to do the C-section. Come back at four. Hey, Sherry. Come back at four and get. You know, pick her up and um, the last four puppies because they were assuming that the puppies were still alive. 
She called me at four when I was on my way to go get my baby. And she was like, Lauren is really sick. She is like on her last leg. We can do A, B, and C to try to save her. But she is on like death's door. And I said, no, I don't want to <coughs> cut her. If she, it, it, forget it. Yeah, them four puppies <coughs> going to have to die with her, unfortunately. They're going to have to go with her because I didn't want her to suffer anymore. She was she was so, she was like sick, tired. I'm done here. You know what I'm saying? So I told them to go ahead and put her down because she was just suffering. And I didn't want them cutting on her and all of that. So, yeah, my baby gone. But um, now we have Sheba, and Sheba needs some work, y'all. Um, I got her from a nice lady here in Texas. Um, she has a food truck, and she didn't have time for Sheba. And I could tell she didn't have time for Sheba because Sheba is not Sheba is not affectionate like Nipsey and Diddy is. Um, she'll let you rub on her and all of that, but she's not. She does not uh, show that affection. She doesn't give it back to you. Right, Joanne? That shit, that shit broke me down. That was the month before my mama died. So, like, I, I feel like I've been just getting slapped in the face. Honestly, like, damn. Um, and that's why y'all haven't seen me in so long. Because, shit, a bitch is trying to still get up off the floor. Really is. Yeah, she gonna have to come around. She gonna get broke. She gonna come around. Um, I need some coffee. I have not had coffee today. So, yeah, I'm gonna break her in. Um, I've been kind of going back and forth with the woman I got her from to let her know. Because she was hurt that she had to give her up. So, you know, um, I've been sending her pictures, y'all. When I, when I got Sheba yesterday, which is a great distraction for me. Thank you, Nikki. I'm, I'm glad my husband went and got her from her. First of all, I talked the lady down from $1,500 down to $500, y'all. $1,500 down to $500 because, one, she got a cherry eye. So, I need to take her to get her cherry eye fixed. Um, and then, two, she hasn't had, she hasn't been to the vet since June. So, I got to pay for all of this. We paid for Nipsey. Nip, Nipsey was $2,500. Diddy was four thousand, and Dun Dun was thirty five hundred. But her being a, a two year old dog, she's almost two year old. She's sixteen months. Um, I feel like I did something. Talked her down for fifteen hundred to five hundred because I gotta put some work in her, and she needs to gain weight. I can like feel her her ribs. Like she's food aggressive a little bit too. I talked her down to five hundred. <laughs> I my husband paid five hundred for her. Yeah, I talked her down to five hundred. So I've been trying to like it's time for them to eat again. And I'm telling you, y'all, she is so she like I don't know how often they fed her. Like I don't think they fed her en Well, I know they didn't feed her enough because you can see, you can see her bones, like her ribs. But she is a sweetheart. She just had to get used to these boys. Quiche. <laughs> it's Christmas time. Yes, I talked them down from <laughs> talked her down from fifteen to five. Anybody know anything about Frenchies, English Bulldogs, any purebred dog? It's gonna cost you some money. So when I have my puppies, y'all, cause she's getting bred once I get her healthy. But I'm y'all know I love my dog, so. You ain't got to worry about that. Because there's some breeders out here, y'all. I, I, I'm so sick of these breeders who overbreed their dogs. And then they want to push them dogs off on people. She never had a litter yet. Um, Have you tried a muzzle? Is that cruel? Um, How is she with the kids? Kids, she, she loves the kids. Uh, well, my... You know, all my kids are older. The grandkids haven't been here yet. But if she, shot, if she shows any type of aggressiveness, oh, she will get put away. She'll get put up. I ain't going to play that. Um, and my grandkids really don't care for the dog. So normally when they're here, Nipsey, if you don't get down, get down. 
down. Get off my couch. Now, you was only up there because I was playing with you. Thank you. Where's Diddy? Oh, Diddy sleep. Um. Okay, I'm sorry. So, a muzzle, I might get one because I had one for Diddy because Diddy barked too much. He he likes to bark. But since she been here, y'all, she checks the shit out of them. And Diddy has been a great little puppy since she she got here. But y'all, Diddy, Diddy is the puppy, y'all. He only is seven months. And do y'all know he's thicker and weighs more than she does? And she's 16 months. So y'all know I'm finna put in that. I'm finna give her all kind of supplements. I'm finna feed her well. You will get fed three to four times a day here. Um... She will, Sherry. I, I, I don't play about it. You, if y'all remember what Dun Dun looked like, y'all, Nipsey is an old English bulldog, so his body type is a little different, but he's solid in him. He's like 80-something pounds. Um, and I want to say Diddy got to be at least 40 because Diddy is solid. But she, she probably 40 pounds and is way older than, um, Diddy. She sound like Kenzie with her brothers. Girl, she might be. She don't play. She left some crumbs from a treat on the floor. Diddy went to go get it. Do you know she slapped on him like, bitch, that's mine. You cannot. Like, look, y'all. Look what I got. I'm finna do my hair. Y'all know what this is, right? Y'all know at the shop where they be doing your nails and they do the little grunge on your nails and crap like that. I got my acrylic. I got this. Yeah. Y'all know I hate to leave the house. And I hate when they be talking to Wong Fu over my head. So, I'm I, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and do my own sh Figure out, learn how to do... I'm that type. I'm gonna learn how to do it myself. Me and the money. This is a good... This is a good way for me and my daughter to, to bond and spend time together. I can't stand that ching ching. I'm a, oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. But when they be talking over my head, I feel like they be talking about me. Like, what are you talking about? You talking about my toes? Because that second toe is longer than the, the big toe. Oh, I am, Cheryl. I'm, I'm scared of it. Don't worry about it. When it get a little hot. Yeah. No. I'm not finna thin out my nail. I know what you're talking about. That's if I can get my mind still long enough to concentrate to sit down and do it. But y'all know when they be talking and over your head and all around you, talk, my nerves is shot to shit. For real. I can't take it. I didn't have I I didn't took care of a lot of kids. I didn't had a lot of kids and all that loud noise. I I, I, I feel like I, I'm overstimulated, you know? No, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I, I'll figure out how to do it myself. I have the piece signed to what I miss, Cheryl. Y'all, I'm gonna get some chronic. Hold on. I mean, coffee. I talked to Nisi this morning, y'all. I woke her ass up. Oh, my toes. <laughs> my toes, girl. Don't be talking about my toes because I got some pretty feet. I don't have any corns. I don't have any uh, wisdom things. Hold on. Wisdom things where y'all... Feet be rubbing in your shoe. 
Who, Nisi? Nisi? My toes are separated, so it looks like the peace sign. Shut up. <laughs> I need y'all. Y'all giving me life right now. Um, my toes are separated, so it looks like the peace sign. And my second toe is longer than my other one. So I get what you say. Yes, girl. That toe be like, okay, so this is this is your big toe. The biggest toe you got. And then there go your, that other toe longer than that one. It look crazy. It be hanging over your sandal if you don't get the right size. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Sure. They talking mad shit about my feet. And then be wondering why, why I don't want them to touch my shit. No. Just go ahead. Can you just give me a full set? Yeah, I need a full set. Go ahead. I know I don't want them long. I don't want to look like I'm... You, you. No, no. <laughs> no offense to those who like, you know, the shit catchers. I, I can't do them long nails. Mm -mm. I, I'm scared I'm going to fuck up a baby when I'm changing a diaper or... You know, if you don't wrap that tissue right around your 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 hand, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for making me smile. Thank y'all. I needed y'all today. I really needed this. That, that one number God that said, hey, go on here, talk to your people. It's going to make you feel better. You know? That one number God. And then at the same time that I'm live, Kayla hit me up. Like, girl, I'm live. I'm, I'm telling you, I need my coffee. Y'all, I went in my room and my daughter... The baby girl room, the 15-year-old the room is right over my head. She up there listening to some um, some slow jams. I'm about to go up here and say, who the fuck you in love with? Who you? Who? who you listen to all these slow jams. Who, who in the fuck is you in the love with? In the love with? <laughs> you ain't allowed to love nothing yet. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Mwah. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that coffee? You on your second cup? I'm a little late today. I'll be going to bed soon. I work graveyard, everybody. Oh, sh hats off to you, girl. I need to go up here and see who the hell she she loving. Cause uh, you ain't old enough to be. You love your mama, your daddy, your sisters, and your brother. <laughs> Yes, we do. We do need to, I need to start coming back live with my music. Y'all remember when we used to do that? I used to be cooking and, and playing music because I can't cook without jamming. And then uh, Thursdays and Fridays, like, I feel like right now, after this cup of joe, I feel like it, it's five o'clock somewhere. My baby girl, Cheryl, she, she about to be 15. I'm telling y'all remember that? How is the weather out there? It's gloomy out here. 
Um, we got some sunshine today, but it's it's cool. It's cool. I don't know what it is right now, but it's cool to me. It's cold. My butt is cold, and I'm wearing jeans, and I got on panties today. Girl, get you some toy. Unfortunately, at work right now, I'm having uh, technical difficulties, so that's why I'm not working. But I'm working, you know, like I'm on the clock, but. <laughs> I want, to... girl, sunshine, uh, sunshine saves lives. It really does. It makes the difference. Sometimes it can make a difference between a good day and a bad day. If you don't know, now you fucking know. Who, anybody agree? Can I get a hand? Sunshine and rain. Oh, I'm just playing. Sunshine can make the difference between a good day and a bad day. If you already fucked up in the head. Yes, you cooking and having wine with the music on. And baby girl will pop in and out. <laughs> I'm going to bring them back. I'm going to bring them back. I love to... <laughs> Kayla. Kayla. Hello. That's what the shirt say. Hello. I love technical difficulties. Let me check my phone. Hello. Oh. I didn't mess up. I done messed up, girl. Watch my daughter. My daughter is persistent, y'all. She just called me. I accidentally hung up. I bet you she called me back. She don't play that. That one about her mama? Kelly. Uh, what was I reading? Sunshine makes a world, a world of difference, Kayla. Sunshine is life. I'm telling you. How the fuck did they get out? I didn't let y'all. My dogs don't play. I accidentally left the gate open because I really don't like them around my whole house. Mm. I don't know about y'all, but th that that's my thing. Um, they can do what they want to in the den, but uh, uh, I don't want my house to smell like dogs. You can walk in my house right now and you ain't gonna smell dog. You gonna smell sunshine. <laughs> You gonna smell some lemons in that pot over there and some potpourri, some some um mulberry. Have you smelled mulberry? Some mulberry oil. I put it in a little let me turn it on right now. I put it in a little pot on the stove and let it get my house lit. You had a me, Nanny. Andy, I'm having technical difficulties. So I I'm I'm working, but I can't work. You know, it's it's not, it ain't my fault. <laughs> It's not my fault, Annie. Annie, I got to get some more. What kind of absolute did you buy me? Was that watermelon absolute for my birthday? I got to get some. Was that watermelon? What was that? Annie said, listen here. This bottle is for you. Take it in the room and put it up because everybody was bringing me bottles. Cranberry and cinnamon sticks. Oh, yes, yeah, Cheryl. But I'm telling you. Let me show you the bottle. I put these in my diffuser, either some mulberry, Amazon, get it off, you can get it tomorrow. Um, and I like this jasmine cherry blossom, is that what it is? Yes, this right here, put it in your diffusers. I put it in a little pot on the stove. My house smells like greatness. They peach and watermelon. It was peach and watermelon. Why are you going upstairs, oh man? Yes, I'm going to get me some more of that. You know, I maxed that ASAP. That that was gone. And he said, here, take this and put it in your room. Nobody can have any. Get you some. Amazon and ha had a divorce. Cheryl, no. No, you cannot come on my live talking like that, Cheryl. That shit is not acceptable. Woo, y'all don't, you 
Man, it's chronic. Y'all remember them car, car vlogs when I used to get my coffee? This shit right here. <laughs> this shit right here. Cheryl, you can never divorce Amazon. That's not right. You can. Cheryl, I'm not talking to you no more. We ain't cool. You ain't my people no more. I'm lying. I love you, girl. Mm. This my this my 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 Caucasian hands. Yeah, she's slippery. She gonna be back. Yeah, I'm just taking I'm taking a long break. I'm sorry, but like I told y'all, if you didn't know. IG pays me more than YouTube does. So, I'm going to keep posting. I, if y'all ever notice, I post random reels every single day. Yeah, because they give me a little change. They had opened it up and was drinking your gift up. They they was trying to, Annie. Maybe that's why I feel like I went through that bottle fast. I'm going to get some myrrh. I'm, I'm kind of stocked right now. I'm kind of stocked. I need, I really want to take a bartending class. I do. Because I want to use, I want to use all those little, what is that? The, the syrups and stuff like that. Like the, 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 what's this? Grenadine? Stuff like this. I want to pour that in some, I just feel like they be looking so, so, so cool. So fresh when they do. I want to flip some glasses and shit. Oh, you don't, Dad? Why? Y'all, this shit right here, this shit right here. I have not had food today, but this right here is dope. The Chronicles, Car Chronicles. What was that, my morning ramble? Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I'm my most emotional, my most, I want to say the most talkative in the morning. So when I used to be in that car, that wasn't nothing but raw shit. You was getting like... Getting to wake up everything. I had to get it out of me before I got into work and took it out on somebody. You know what I'm saying? True also, where is about chronic? <laughs> yes. It wasn't the chronic everybody wanted to hear about. Oh, you need your diaper on. Y'all, Diddy is incontinent. If, I don't know if y'all ever noticed in all his pictures he got on a diaper. Yeah, because he can't control his wing wang. And it ain't because he's not house trained. He had surgery to get a hernia fixed and end up having, and now he's incontinent. Nipsey walking down the stairs like he run this shit, y'all. Like, what are you doing upstairs, dog? Hey, Miss Mugger. Happy holidays to you too. I hope y'all get whatever y'all wished for. I didn't even. I don't. I'm not wishing for nothing this year. That's that Gemini. That's that Gemini. It is Nikki. She is uncontrollable. Y'all see, I was just crying like a baby, and then you know, then then my my uh confident bitch jumped out and like, bitch, no, we can't be on here crying like that. You know, people do that all the time. That ain't you. Stop it. Gemini's Miss Mother. That I think that's why I sleep so good at night because I be so exhausted from dealing with this, this Geminiism. I'm telling you. I think that's why I sleep so good at night. I be fucking tired. Yeah, Kayla. Y'all help me with that. Y'all just brought it out of me, you know, and we didn't, you know, the weed helped a little too. Y'all see that? Y'all see that little, y'all see that little, don't look at the nails. Just look at the red. That's the, y'all know that's the new one. And that's my other baby. Y'all know I don't let number rose go. Uh, uh, oh, that was, look at that. All I gotta do is do my nails real quick and put on some makeup. Y'all, I ain't put on no makeup. The last time I put on makeup was at my mama's funeral. 
What are y'all doing today? What's for dinner? Somebody tell me something to cook. Last night I cooked. <laughs> Last night I cooked some ribs. I made some string beans, but I put some bacon in it and I seasoned it really good. If you don't know about that, then you don't know about that. Um, and I made some um, cheesy scalloped potatoes. They messed that up. Really did. Y'all, yeah. look, look at my kids. You know I gotta cook for Christmas. Look at him. This is the, <laughs> then he had to roll. He said, this floor feels so good, mama. Look at him. I'm telling you, they, they my shadows. Ooh, and beans for dinner. Keish, don't play. You know, last week I made Y'all know those nacho tacos that you can buy? We messed them up. I haven't made tacos tacos in a long time. We messed that up. I made some gumbo because it was so cold. Ooh, and I bet... How do you make your gumbo, though? I don't like the real, real gumbo. Like, don't the real gumbo have, like, okra in, yeah, okra in it and shit like that? And some real shit, like some frog legs and stuff like that? Yeah, I don't want to run across the frog toe. I just don't. But if it's like the, you know, the 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 reg, the the easy gumbo, that's what I'm gonna say. Like, I bet you Annie made her own roux. I bet y'all twenty dollars. Annie made her own roux. You made your own roux, didn't you, Annie? <laughs> Annie, I bet you twenty dollars. Hey, yeah, I bet y'all twenty dollars. I ain't got it, so you can't get it, but I bet you Annie made her own room. <laughs> Annie, tell the truth. Did you make your own room? I bet you got some room in the freezer. No, I didn't. I can see y'all. I can see how Annie's saying it, too. No, I didn't. Annie, have you ever made, anybody in here ever made their own room? I, I ain't a bad bitch like that yet. Everyone makes it different. I don't like okra. And I never heard of frog legs. <laughs> Y'all, they said I lost my booty. <laughs> they said my buttocks is gone. It's gone. I want to sit down. Let me get my stool. Boo, bitty. Diddy be trying to walk on my feet. Move now. Diddy, come on, I gotta put your diaper on. Because if you pee anywhere, I'm gonna be so mad at me. Come on. Come on, baby. Um, hey, partly cloudy. Happy holidays. Same to you. Y'all. Hey, off topic. Gotta make your own rule. Gotta make your own rule. I don't, Courtney, will you cook like that? I seen you get down. Don't come in here flossing. Y'all know, I know Courtney. Courtney is another one I would say, yeah, she make her own rule. So? Hmm. So you make your own rule. Do it doing better than me. Don't come over here showing me up. <laughs> I'm just playing. Louis Louisiana Cajun gumbo base. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, my dog's farting and they stink. Okay, baby. You have a great day. Thank you, Keish. Love you. Y'all, I told y'all that girl was gonna call me back. And she always call me back when I'm doing something. She always, my baby always call me. You know I'm live. Oh, hey, y'all. What y'all doing? My freckles be popping. Didn't nobody ask you to do all that? Hey, y'all. <laughs> this phone had went dead on me. 
this morning. Girl, yeah, we're Cora. We, no, you know what? I found her original name on her paperwork, so I named her that. What's her original name? Sheba. Listen, you... <laughs> Listen. Listen, motherfucker. You can't, get me, you can't get me addicted to Cora and name her, then change her name to Sheba. Y'all, I was going to name her Cora because Cora sounds like a sweetheart, doesn't it? Hey, Cora. Hey, Cora. Cora, come here, Cora. And then we got a Sheba. What the hell is a Sheba? <laughs> she look like a Sheba, though, because her brindle stripes look like a little tiger. Ain't it a tiger named Sheba? Or a lion or some shit? You know what? You need to stay off the news. Oh, my brain. Oh, you fell, girl. You fell. She said I need to stay off the news, y'all. <laughs> I gotta go to the grocery store. You like Cora, Cora don't you, Cheryl? Cora, I West, like Cora. But, you know but, what? But but she with too. the name Cheryl, she do like Cora. With the name what? Cheryl. You fucked up. You you make me sick. Well, come here, everyone. I'll go ahead and eat Cheryl like Cora. Okay, get some rest, Sherry. Get some rest. But yeah, um. Her name is Sheba. She's been called Sheba for two years. So who am I to change it? Um, but when you say Cora, do she look? No, because I didn't have the opportunity. You know I had to put her up because she keep growling at my boys. Uh, your boys are little pussies. <laughs> Y'all hear my child? <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to hang you up because you are really showing your old <laughs> freckled flat ass. They some pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See you. Love you. Have a good day at work. Take a break. Talk to me. I'm on live. You talk to the live. Hey, live. What y'all doing? Hey, yeah. girl. Y'all know that's my. Hey, what's that? Hey, mama. What's that TikTok? Uh, uh I don't need no ride. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have you seen the TikTok? For the first response pregnancy test, and they pop it open, and it's a Plan B pill in that bitch. I want to try it. I want to try it. I said I was gonna buy it and do it. Not that ain't, 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 ain't nothing getting knocked up over here. Yeah, say it again, Mama. I ain't paying on it. I just want to open it. Right. I just want to see if it's there. Yeah. I see That's Haiti. It. Hey, Gwyneth. Um, the name Sheba came from Egyptian Queen. Yes, it did. I looked it up last night. Okay. Uh, we can I mean, today. No, I looked up Cora last night. Cora was Egyptian too, though. I think. Cora, Cora is the thing under the sea with Nemo. With Nemo? That's, that, that ain't Cora. That is Cora. Girl. That's Coral. Coral. Oh, you talking about Coral. Shut up. <laughs> I told you I live under the seat with Nemo. But yes, y'all, on TikTok, it's a plan. It's a it's a um first response pregnancy test. And it, when you pop it open, it's a plan B pill in there. So they show other people who went and bought the shit and there was a plan B pill in there. If I had time right now, I'll run up the street to Walgreens. Mm. I ain't bringing no pregnancy tests, test up in this house. You ain't wishing no pregnancies upon me. Upon nobody. No, keep from keep all the. Hmm. What is it? Hmm. F T K. F T K. What that mean, Diamond? Fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, she showing her. She showing her ass. Cussing in front of me. She cussing in front of me. Yeah, I caught her. I'm really tired. We have this 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 little uh confrontation about this bullshit all the time. I'm about to two, I'm about to TKO somebody. How old are you, Diamond? Are y'all gonna listen to her or y'all gonna listen to Sheba? Sheba locked up. How old are you, Diamond? I'm twenty four, baby. Be twenty five next year. I got so many kids I can't remember how old they are. And I'm the oldest. I'm the first one that popped out. I know that you're the oldest. I was in labor with you for 13 hours. Let me see how long I got. Y'all, my baby was in the ICU. 
Cheryl. That's probably, that's be, probably why I ain't got on whenever, my mark. You show right. You show right. You lost some oxygen. That explains a lot. Hey, did you have your medication today? Because it surely looked like it. I just had my medication because I was just on here crying like a baby. Why, girl? Uh, my mama. You am know. I the cancer or are you the cancer, Gemini? It's a Gemini thing, but you know I was thinking about mama. Oh, okay. And the crazy shit is, my oldest I daughter, look like she looks just like my mama. She got the same fat head. She looks just like my mama. Hey, man. You know you look just like mama. <laughs> I got some amazing news. Come on, Kayla. Can breathe. Good is so God is so good. What happened, Kayla? Can you tell us, or do you, I mean, do I need to text you, or do you need to text me? Can you say it here? Can we be the My first? Is a, can we be the first to know, or do I? Can I be? Yes, I My love I love good popping. news. Come on, huh? The freckles they popping. Girl. They are popping. I see them things, girl. I want to connect the dots. How many you think you got? A lot on my face, some on my butt. <laughs> okay, they, okay. They, they everywhere. They are. They everywhere. They are. Boobies and all, they're everywhere. I know. She making you laugh. I got a couple. She do thousand. make me laugh, Annie. She do make me laugh. Oh, this, this girl got a problem. I, I think I could have took her down to Social Security and got a check. Hey, while you playing, I might take a trip up there my damn <laughs> and go see what's going on. <laughs> I take that check real quick. <laughs> she sure do that. I take that do check. Just like your mama was. <laughs> Don't she, Nikki? She looks just like my mama. I take that check. What you say, Diamond? What you say? You I got? go up there. I go up. Yep. Mm -hmm. How much was it? Mm. <laughs> Thank you. I'll have it. <laughs> you said I get to go on a cruise too? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so yeah. cool. It's so crazy. And then at the funeral, y'all, everybody kept on thinking Diamond was my sister. They kept on walking up to her Peach. Peach, no, this is not Peach. This is my what? child. Huh? Because if y'all really wanted me to turn around, y'all be really disappointed because I'm lacking in the back, but I'm packing you, in the cat. You, you, you are lacking in the back, but you packing I'm in, your, but your rack is stacking. Do you hear me, mama? <laughs> yeah, but you can't have both. You can't have titty and ass because then you would just be off balance. Not really. I mean, I'll be able to stand still. You can't. I, I don't think both look right. I don't think both feel don't right. Don't let me get liposuction. I don't need it. No Where more. you want? I don't need it. In no the more. back. This in the back. Oh, you want something put there? Cause y'all, I'm right. tell. I promise, I never sat my babies on the table, but her ass is flat. Hey man, listen. But you're beautiful. Yeah. You, you, you. But you're beautiful. I, you. I don't have it, y'all. Thank God, I did not have any ugly kids. And y'all, you, you know, you know, if you got an ugly child, they could never be in pictures. She could never be in pictures. What if I had one that didn't look right? Everybody lined up. Everybody They'd be like, oh, I don't know, you had five kids. Yeah, because that one is usually somewhere else. <laughs> so, go over there. Everybody line up, take a picture. The uh, be like, baby, don't you like go wash your hands and then hurry up and take a picture before they come back. What's that look? What's the little thing? Uh, I'm gonna send you a picture of it off of Harry Potter. The one with the big eyes. I, I'm okay right now, Miss China. What you say? The little thing off Harry Potter, the little critter. The, the, the critter? What did yeah, like? it look like? I swear I'm gonna send you a you, picture. Y'all remember, um, not the mama? Dobby, Dobby. His name is Dobby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about him? With the big eyes and the big ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, that's what all ugly what's his, kids look like. What's his name? <laughs> Dobby. What's his name? Dobby? Do Dobby. Y'all know Dobby off of, what is that? Harry Potter? Y'all mm -hmm. know Dobby off of Harry Potter, that little ugly thing. She said that's what all ugly kids look like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know that one so character. 
all ugly that's kids look like that one character. Character. What do y'all say when y'all? What do y'all say when somebody intro introduce y'all to an ugly baby? What do you say? Oh, he's so creative. <laughs> Dummy. What do y'all say when somebody introduce you to an ugly baby? What do you say? Tell me, cause I need practice. What do you say? Uh -uh, he look like his daddy for real. That's all you can say. That's. I mean, you gotta say some shit like that, girl. He look just like y'all. Mm. <laughs> girl, he look like your cousin. Mama, that song teach me how to Dougie. Aiden can't say Dougie, so he be like, teach me how to Dobby. Teach me how to Dobby. Just say oh, okay. oh, look at him. Oh, look at mm. oh, look at him. Oh, ain't good, Miss China. Him. You can't say oh. <laughs> oh, look. oh, look at mm. him. No, you can't. Oh, Oh, he is creative. Uh-uh, you got to hurry up and... How precious. That's so sweet, Courtney. That's sweet. Thank you. Mm. They so precious. That, 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 so precious. How hey, old? hey, some mornings, Aiden be looking, uh, be waking up like, oh, you so creative. Shut up. Ain't nothing wrong so... with my grandson. When he be making certain facial expressions, I be like, baby, mm -hmm. Is your break over? No, I got three minutes. I'm using you, all my six. You'll break over. See, you love you. My break ain't over. Be safe. Y'all, she gonna call back. Bless his heart. Just bless his heart. Girl, we wrong. Please forgive me. We wrong. <laughs> I just hurry up and change the topic. Girl, how long was your labor? Mommy does it. That's my favorite. Bless his heart. <laughs> I'm going to change the topic. I'll be looking like he cute, but I I know in my head he ain't cute. Oh, girl, how long was your labor? You hung up on your baby? Yes, I did, Annie. She know I love... I said I love you. She on break talking about she got three minutes left. That's just enough time for her to get to the door. Uh, she she gonna jump on. Get off my life. That's so he's so precious. <laughs> I parked in front of the door. Girl, shut up. My cherry. Okay, so I still haven't determined what I'm cooking today. I'm thinking Philly cheesesteaks. Because it's easy. I think I'm gonna make Philly cheesesteak. I kinda, I already went and stocked up. You know how you stock up? Cause my grandson coming tomorrow. So I gotta make sure that I have everything that he likes. And if y'all don't know, he likes to eat. Um, so I gotta make sure I have frozen pizzas. I gotta make sure I have Paw Patrol fruit necks. That's what he say, necks. I had gave y'all, I gave him some um, fruit snacks one time, and he asked me why I didn't get Paw Patrol. Like, you not gonna be walking around here checking the shit out of me. I'm yo woo woo. <laughs> Guess that sound good. Yeah, I'm gonna do Philly cheesesteaks because it's easy. It's easy. And I'll throw some fries in the air fryer. Thank you, Toy. Thank you. I mean, they, you got to think about it. Your kids are, well, if you're a good mom, a great mom, your kids are usually with you when you're in the thick of it. They with you through, it's just like a, 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 a it's a, a marriage. Like, y'all... In, in in the gutter together wherever you whatever you going through or whatever you been through and if you're a good mom and you worked your way through it and you pushed through it and you you know you made it through the hard times your kids are usually the ones who were with you through every fucking thing all the good all the bad and 
Yeah, you you it's it's only fair but to to build some type of good relationship. I won't have it any other way. I love talking to my girls. I love talking to my son. Like we we just randomly will stop in the house and talk about whatever they want to talk about. Um, even with the fifteen year old, we started having the talk about doing up and all of that, and it's a comfortable conversation. My kids and grandbabies would eat that every day. Gumbo, what is it? Beef tips and rice. Oh, yes, Annie. I sure got some beef tips. I made a good-ass stew a couple of weeks ago for my daughter when she was pregnant, y'all. They messed that up, and I had never made stew before. Tell me, are you a stew person with crackers, or are you a stew person with cornbread? Okay, baby. Yeah, but my kids and my husband, my kids have been through some shit with me. Cornbread. I like cornbread, too. Cornbread, too. It's more, it's it's heartier. I like some cornbread. Cornbread, definitely. What about the rice, though? For the beef, for the beef tips, I've done it before with a gravy. Throw them beef tips in the crock pot. I made a brisket the other day um, in the oven. And I had a nice size brisket, not a huge one, but a nice one. And they messed that up. Like, what about the rice? Rice, I can eat any kind of rice with anything. I'm so Louisiana. Rice was everything. Rice is everything. I Look, I just told baby True. I just told baby True, make me some rice. What I'm going to do with it, I don't know yet. I, sometimes I'll just make a gravy and put it on here, and I can just eat gravy and rice. Eat. Egg noodles are good with... Yes, it is. That sounds delicious. You know what I've never made? Have y'all ever made Swedish meatballs? And I don't buy frozen meatballs. I mean, I make my meatballs for whatever I'm making. I love some rice. I just got some cilantro rice the other day. That's in them little bags that you throw in the microwave. Oh, I messed that shit up by itself. It was supposed to be part of the meal. Rice and gravy, that's it. I don't even need any meat. Any kind of gravy, brown gravy, chicken gravy, turkey gravy. If, it, if it's got gravy on it, think about it. Gravy. Gravy. <laughs> Gravy is, gravy is fucking delicious, y'all. That was sweet. I just read your text message to Kayla. Thank you. That was really sweet. Um. Oh, y'all. She made... Oh, I did make some oxtails the other day. I made some oxtails. I've really been on a macaroni kick, too. Like, they've been really wanting macaroni around here. So I've been making creamy macaroni or baked macaroni. I'm about to go to the grocery store. Y'all, that's my that's like the club for me. That's how I kick it. The grocery store. I have not left this house. I have not left the house in like maybe seven days. Um, I did a huge grocery run and stocked up all my cabinets and everything. Plus my son work at a grocery store y'all he driving now so i don't even have to take him to work just take your car you know so i haven't had to leave the house for nothing jasmine right girl any kind of rice rice on rice i'm eating it i like yellow rice jasmine rice i do like jasmine rice um anybody still when the last time y'all saw some rice around you? I have I saw rice aroni. I think it was Walmart the other day. I didn't buy any, but I saw it. When the last time you saw some rice aroni? Now that's some G shit right there. Rice aroni used to save the day for a meal. That's Nipsey snoring, y'all. I'm glad y'all talking to me. <laughs> that sounds desperate. 
Uh, what about, uh, I can't stand the grocery store. No, I can't. People are rude. Don't nobody say excuse me no more. People come out looking any kind of way. Like, and then y'all need to be safe. I'm part of a neighborhood app, and on the neighborhood app, they be posting all this shit. I'm, like, scared for my kids to even leave the house. Every time they walk out this house, be safe. Pay attention to your surroundings. Uh, I love you. Be careful. If it's something on your door handle, don't touch it. Call the police because you didn't put it there. Y'all know they putting poison on stuff now. Now they tagging people cars for trafficking. Um, ladies... Kids, men, all, everybody needs to be paying attention to what's going on. The grocery store that I shop at constantly on the neighborhood app, they said that she came out and there was a zip tie on her back door somehow and she called the police. And that's what you need to do because they said the zip tie is supposed to be for trafficking. Scotland, Courtney. Country human. Okay, I'm blind, y'all, for real. I need to go get glasses. Hello, I'm new here. You are so pretty. Thank you. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. But, yeah, I need y'all to pay attention to what's really going on. And if you, if it's like some tissue in your door, do not touch it. Um, it, it sometimes it has a chemical on it that um, will make you pass out. Um, or... It's some way for them to flag your car. Pay attention. Ladies, don't be leaving your purses in the basket. If you don't need to take it, I don't even carry. When I do go to the store, I don't even carry a purse anymore. I take the cards I need, driver's license, credit card, whatever, and do what I got to do. It is real out here. I was watching. I don't know if y'all heard about it. It was a girl in a, a little girl in Atlanta, 11 years old. Pay attention to what y'all kids are doing on these devices. Social media is a way for these pedophiles to get into your kids' um, brains and their minds and, and, and manipulate them. Um, they, uh, it was a girl named Arcade. Was it? What was it? Ar was it Arcala or something Briggs? She's 11 years old. Which dog is snoring? Nipsey. He right under me. Y'all know it. They follow me. Um. And and Sheba sleep. I think Sheba was stressed out at her last home because Sheba been getting her rest on. I'm telling you, she eat. She done had a bath. She got on clothes. She said, "I'm I'm happy here." But anyways, her, I think her name was Arkayla Arkayla Briggs or it's something Briggs for sure. She was eleven. She is eleven years old. A 21-year-old guy got into her in got into her inbox on some social media <clears throat> on some somewhere on social media and talked her into leaving her mom's house. She packed a bag and left the house without permission. And I guess two uh some a 21-year-old guy took her. And they was finna go to like Macon, Georgia. I guess they was <clears throat> in in Atlanta, Georgia. But it got so much social media exposure that they dropped her off at the police station. Two 21-year-old guys. But did y'all do anything to her? The police wouldn't, didn't say or go into depth as to what happened. Um, so did y'all do anything to this 11-year-old baby? Did You knew she was 11 years old. Now, don't get me wrong. She looked a good maybe 13 14 15 something like that older than 11 um but still that's a baby 11 years old that hurt my heart so bad i'm glad that she made she got back and she was safe she was safe but we don't know what happened to her while they had her we don't know that we have to be careful we have to know what they doing on these social media devices uh, uh platforms we have to know you need to be paying attention I, i'm a, i'm a i will snatch a phone in a minute we could be cool having a conversation and whoop i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna look and i'm gonna see you never know you never know but we have to we have to pay attention 
it was scary. And every time, every time stuff like that happened, that just really hurt to my heart. Ooh. Especially if you have your own kids. That's the first thing that pop in your mind is that could be my child. That could have been my child. I, and I'm one of the mamas. I'm going to go grab you. I'm going to tell you, come here. Come watch this. Uh, come come see what I just saw. Because I want you to be aware. Same thing with my boy. Mm. This world is, is so crazy. Why are you back? Why is she back, y'all? Why is she back? She's supposed to be at work. I need you to be working at work. Why is she back? My dog, he, he not, he not, um, <laughs> come here, Nip. He's not, he's not on the mic. He's under me. He, he's, he likes to be up under his mama. Oh, y'all slow. Say hi, Diddy. Diddy, say hi. Y'all, Diddy didn't got so big. I have three English bulldogs, so you can hear anybody snoring or farting, but it ain't a man. We, a man gonna work around here. Hey, say daddy gonna go to work. Get on my, don't do that. I don't, I don't do the mouth kissing, y'all. I just gave him a bath too, but you ain't gonna, mm -mm, don't lick my face. Don't lick my mouth. But hey, say that's my baby. Say he the baby. He the baby boy. He's your baby. Uh... That's Puff Daddy. <laughs> it's B Diddy. We call him. B His name is B Diddy, but Diamond insists on calling him Puff Daddy. Don't confuse my child, okay? He the baby. Yeah, he's seven months. And then I have a new one. She's sixteen months. She's over there. She she chilling. I'm about to. Sheba. Sheba, I'm about to let her eat and all of that. She's, I think that's what her problem is. She hungry. You want to eat? I'm going to feed you some food, girl. And, oh, this is the one that's, um, that's who's snoring. Nip, Nip T, come here. They want to see who doing all that damn snoring in my house. That's him. He doing all the snoring. He's the culprit. Y'all, I can't have a moment to myself, so I see what's going on. It's time for me to go feed them and all of that good stuff. Once upon a time, what's up, girl? I just got done, um, puff, puff, passing. Where you been? Where you been? About to roll. I just did. I just did, homie. <laughs> Uh, YouTube X girl, I seen the mess with the with the man um cussing out her mama. That man cussing out her mama that wanted like the jack. Yeah, I saw. I I heard about it on different channels, and that I think I first heard about it last night on Yanni channel, and that's just horrible. That's horrible, girl. Um, yeah, Kayla, what you said. That I'm telling you, me too for a second when I heard that mess, because that's just not acceptable. That man tripping big time. That man tripping big time. That's horrible. And she know that's the that when 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 uh big booty wasn't around, that was the first one. Have a great day. When Big Booty wasn't around, you know, that was it. her mama was the one who helped her out with everything. Do y'all remember when she took over her mama apartment? Y'all remember that mess? Yeah, it's so easily we forget. So easily they forget. Girl, that man, Jazz Man. I didn't see it. I want to see it. Is it up on somebody's channel where I can hear it? Girl, it's hard to stay in retirement sometimes. That 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 old itch sometimes come and be like, bitch, it's time to react on this dumb, foolish ass shit. Especially when I see that big old, that big old yellow thing and and the the foolishness to come out her mouth. I be telling, I, I be I be having to hold myself back. 
I'll be having to hold myself back. Like, don't do it. Don't do it, True. One of y'all scratch me. You know that big yellow thing? The one who who hiding that damn baby from the world. Girl, don't nobody give a fuck. Nothing. You just you just learn how to take care of kids. Just do that. Be a mom. Quit trying to show off for the world. That's one of them people who who thrives on attention. Thrives on attention. They can't survive without it. Can't. Shay, they can't live without it. Baby blanket. For real, baby blanket. Ain't that some shit, bitch? You are not famous. Don't nobody give that much of a fuck. She over there. Oh, yes, Lord. See, see, this is what I'm talking about. It's so easy for me to snap back to my old ways. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. But ignorance really drives me up a wall. Really does. Like, bitch, you think we care that much? The only reason I know is from watching everybody else. I would not give her none of my time. Will we, Diddy? No, Diddy. No, Diddy. Miserable as fuck over there. Girl. <laughs> what's, what's, what's J Rod's? What's J Rod's um, new boo name? His fiance. What's her name? She mad because that's a because she's a bad bitch. She mad because of it. She is. She's 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 everything that he's been looking for and couldn't get from um Blimpy. Ain't that right? Yes, Nisha. I like Nisha. I like Nisha. I feel like Nisha does what Nisha does her. And just let a bitch watch. Bitch, you can see. You can see what I'm doing. You can talk about it. You can do all of that. But uh, it, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna make me skip a beat. I don't give a fuck. I I got what I want. I got what I want, bitch, because you was too lazy to try to work for it. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to do that no more, y'all. True? What you say? What you say, Kayla? Don't play. Don't play, Kayla. Lord, see, you know what? You finna make me come out of retirement. You gonna make me start doing what I used to do. And I felt like I did it like a fucking lady before and they couldn't handle it. For real. I was being mean. <laughs> That's what they, they thought I was being mean. You can't, if I was being mean, nigga, you would know. Excuse me. I'm sorry, my French. You would know. That's not a woman to me. I'm sorry. Neither one of them. Especially the one who just dis disrespected her mama. That, that was totally out of line. Especially coming from me who I just lost my mama. Bitch, you sitting up here doing dumb shit like this? You don't appreciate the one who been your captain save a hoe before Big Booty came? Girl, you better go somewhere. But see, the problem is, is you trying to live a life that you ain't ready for, well you trying to you're not happy with you so you can't be nothing for nobody else if you don't love you everything else you gonna do is gonna be half-assed because you're not happy with the man that you are that's sad that is that's a, that's a horrible that's the to me that's one of the most despicable things that you can do is disrespect your mama Especially when she didn't save Joe ass on so many occasion, occasions on where we didn't seen it on YouTube. Oh, that hurt, Diddy. Y'all, Diddy teasing. Some days I feel every emotion all in the same day. It's hard. Yep. Mm. I gotta find it, y'all. Who got it? You already knew she was a fool when she tried to come to you. 
I remember that shit. I ain't forgot, but that but you know what? That's one of them. Her and her her friend. Them some jacking ass hoes. For real. They they straight jacking. Don't get me wrong. They they talk a lot of shit. A whole lot a lot of shit. All the time. Every day. You gotta be exhausted from that shit. That's why she be having them mental breakdowns. That's why she be having them mental breakdowns on y'all ass. Coming on here and crying about stupid shit that you can control. I'm crying because my mama is gone forever. You crying because they didn't, didn't deliver your groceries today. Because everything else is piling up on your ass because you ain't living right. Karma is a motherfucker. Karma is a motherfucker. If, if you don't know by now, you shouldn't... Girl... I be I, I gotta stop. I can't do it. I can't I can't I can't go back to that life. <laughs> I can't go back to that life. Karma karma is gonna take your ass out. But y'all remember what she said. She she put on a show for her channel. So everything that's on her channel is a lie. It's a game. She's acting. Remember she said that shit? But that's another bitch who disrespect her mama. It, it, just because she ain't cussing her out, the way she treat her is disrespectful. But you know, everybody ain't raised the same. Like the, the way that I was raised, if we're at an event, my mama ain't getting in no line fixing her own plate. Mama, daddy, y'all go sit down. I'll go get y'all food and come back. Same for my husband. I'm going to go fix y'all plates. Have a seat. I got you. Because it's a, it's a form of respect. But they don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. And that's they mama's fault. It is. But for both of them, they mama has been they Captain Saver hoes. Hoes. Yeah. It, it's, 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 uh, what do they call it? Um, what they call it, Diddy? Um, it's almost, I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's almost something like a love language for your mama and your daddy when you do stuff like that. You The, the way you tend to them like they tended to, you. well, in my family, the way my mama and daddy took care of us is now my turn to do it for them. Simple little things, you know? Ain't that right? But they don't, they don't know that. Selfie queen. Hey, beautiful. Yeah, but um, I hate that she did that to her mama. I really do. When I heard about it, it was just like, that's like murder to me. Like, you don't dis disrespect your mama. <laughs> that you might want well, to kill somebody to me. Like, man, that was out of the line. But I want to find it, y'all. Who, if it's still up, who have it on their channel? I want to see it. I just been hearing bits and pieces, but I didn't actually. She probably took it down too, huh? I am okay right now. Now, if you would have came in earlier, I was emotional, but I'm good now. I'm okay for now. Everybody has different um, differences, but you don't handle your mother like that. You do not, especially on the internet. Especially on the internet. You don't. And your mama on the internet too? And you don't let nobody else disrespect her. You don't. That shit was... Uh-uh. My mama would smack me from... Girl! Maybe they ain't got that kind of fear. I knew if my mama looked at me a certain way, it was over. I understood that language like you need to sit your ass. You, you know, she didn't even have to say the words. I knew what was up. And I, I acted acted accordingly. You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? <laughs> Y'all, he, he not leaving me alone. Diddy, can I have some space? Can I have some space? Can I have some space? Y'all, he teething. Like, he teething big time. It, that look. 
I try it on my kids sometimes at work, and then they, they start laughing like, Mama. <laughs> I play too much with my kids. <laughs> I play too much with my kids. My husband told me the other night, see, she think you a joke. Because <laughs> I play with my kids. We be having a good time. But yeah, I'm going to find it. I'm going to go look. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go look. But, but Kayla, I'm trying to not, I'm trying to be good. It is so hard. When I see the bullshit, like it triggers me and I be like, true come through it's time to make a reaction video but no i ain't gonna do it that look get off my couch now because you're not on the blanket you on my couch get off the couch sure you know you are a one day one love you too love you too I'm finna get up and act like, you know, you know, anybody else do that? Like right before your husband walked through the door or your boyfriend walked through the door or your girlfriend walked through the door, whatever you got, you get up and start cleaning up like that's what you've been doing all day? Is it just me? <laughs> oh, you, what, what time, when, did, when is your last head? Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 okay. Dinner done. Everything done when they walk through the door. Everything done when they walk through the door. People won't let you be great. I'm trying, though. I'm trying. It's like an itch you can't scratch. They be making me... What you say, toy, that's you? <laughs> they be making me want to come out the bushes like... Man. Like, you knew better than that dumb shit. And quit putting the baby head on... Quit putting that baby head on YouTube if you ain't gonna show them. We know who baby that is. See? See how quick I, how I digress. Y'all see how quick I went back to the bullshit? It's so easy. But you know, people love messy shit. So, if you ever want to get some views on YouTube, go ahead and start your reaction, a reaction channel. That's going to do it. Hey. You so fat. He is. He is, Kayla. <laughs> he might be. Well, I'm talking shit. Hey, baby, I've been busy all day. I just got done cleaning out the refrigerator, you know. It's straight. I done folded up some clothes. Yeah, it's easy. To, it's, it, it is easy to entertain bullshit, ain't it? That's so sad. That's so sad. But I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I get sick of hearing this shit. I really do. And I think that's why I won't go back to doing it. Because I get sick of hearing the shit. I get sick of hearing their name sometimes. Like, damn, god damn. <laughs> what the fuck have they done now? They always doing shit. Some, they, they got to be fucking exhausted. Because the, all the shit that be going on in their lives, they, they didn't live 30 lives compared to my one little life. It is draining after a while, Nikki. It is. Man, y'all got so much chaos, so much bullshit jumping off every fucking sicky single day. I'm tired for you. I am so exhausted listening to your life. No, thank you. I'm going to stay on the straight and narrow and keep my shit in line. Keep Stay straight. Be good. <laughs> Give God the glory. I will not. I do not. I like my. I like my mundane, boring life. Uh, you know, I just do. I do. I like it, Daddy. I like it a lot. I I can't do the roller coaster of bullshit every single day of your life. You got something going on. You don't even roll out the bed until fucking. What, 1 o'clock in the afternoon? And it ain't because you worked last night. It's just because. I could not. Do you know, I, I need structure. I, I need a schedule. I need to accomplish things every single day, all day. That, that's got to be a pitiful existence. Look at him, y'all. I got him hemmed up. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. 
Y'all, he just had a fresh bath. He feels that's fully clean. He smells that's fully clean. You're not fully clean. <laughs> you want to get down? I want you to get down. I do. I love my peace. I do. I really do. Okay, y'all. We've been on here. Damn. That time went quick. Almost two, two hours. Can you been on here two hours? I thank y'all for coming in here, kicking it with me, especially the ones that have lasted from the beginning. Y'all, I'm trying to get back to me right now. I just, my life is, I feel like I have no chaos, but I feel like it's chaos going on. I do. Um, but I'm glad y'all came in here and kicked it with me. I appreciate it so, so much. I'm about to go to the grocery store and get my mom life on, you know. That's my club. Going to the grocery store, when I do leave the house, I be excited. Like, what am I going to cook tonight? I'm going to go in this grocery store. I love stocking my shelves. I love, you know, you know. That's my boring life. <laughs> and I'm happy as hell with it. For real. It is draining. All right, y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease. And don't let the dog hit you with a good Lord splitcher. Thanks for coming over here with us. Say bye-bye, Daddy. Say bye-bye, Daddy. Bye-bye, Daddy. Damani.